Good morning, this is Alamon, and welcome back to Out There Omega Edition. So here's our little ship, not much room. Um, I believe in our last episode we had mined a whole bunch of iron, so I think... Well, there's no manual saving. Um, it saves automatically when you quit, but it seems like it didn't actually save what we did in this system, which was drilling on that planet. So uh, I didn't check back to see exactly how much I drilled for. Oh, we learned a technology life seed. I guess I should have read that. Um. Oh, that's right. How did I do this? Did I... Put in the hydrogen, maybe. Drill. For... I think I did eight. Which is way more than I needed, but I am trying to be fair to this. Um, yeah, we'll re-dismantle that. Say finish, go back to the ship view. Fix up the hull. And I think we'll just hold on to the rest of that until we maybe get an opportunity to use it. All right, let's take off. And continue our journey. So, we could go for the green arrow or the red arrow. And they're pretty much in the same direction right now, so uh, let's just continue the way we're going. And because I'm paranoid, check my recording, it looks good. Day 261. I don't really know where I'm going, where my jump will send me. If I arrive too close to a neutron star, oops. <laughs> That's why I record my log entries before the arrival. Then you say that if I jump into a neutron star, nobody will be able to read my log anyway. Well, screw you. Alright, three planets here. Garden, Rocky, and Gas Giant. Wow. Nice variety there. We still have plenty of oxygen, so we'll hold off on going to the garden planet. We will visit it, but I think we'll go to the gas giant first. Was there something I was trying to build? It's been several days since I played this. Um, I mean, we don't really have room to build anything else. No, I think what our goal is is to just try to find another ship that's bigger than this. So we have tons of fuel, and we're just going to try to get some more, I guess. Oh, we only took one damage, which is great. But uh, we should drop that iron now. And probe. Wow, that, okay, didn't give very much. Let's actually swap these, just so the hydrogen's closer. Ugh. Can I, like, double-click or something? Ah, we can do right-click. Good discovery. I wonder if there's a hotkey to do that. Alright. That's probably all the fuel that the planet had anyway. I don't feel like drilling more. Let's go to the garden planet. Excuse me. <coughs> Alright, fill up the tanks. Very good. Let's encounter the life. Wow, it's just a bunch of crystals. Um, what does that remind me of? I guess Final Fantasy IV. Yeah. Me Orank Preponar. Orank Preponar Fear and Kaba. Orank Preponar fear you, you and Kaba. Warang Preponar give Omega. So he's scared and he gave me Omega, which is uh, good. Good. We were able to at least get the uh, Omega element, which is worth 25, I think, for any of those three. And I don't know what other uses it has, actually. Uh, there must be other uses. 
Wow, that's so cool. I, I had no idea about this right-click menu because um, most of my time in this game has been with a mobile version and you don't have right-click. The mysterious Omega element, this black and shiny matter, though apparently stable, constantly scrambles and reassembles its atomic structure. I can use it to repair any broken system, though I'm sure it possesses powers not yet fathomed. Sounds reasonable. Let's take off. We are in great shape right now, but uh, the light is always brightest just before the dark, so... Uh, oh man, this bug again. But apparently these are out of range. Um, I don't think that this is actually going to get me any closer. It might. We'll have to give it a try. In the distance, there seems to be a spaceship. It's a huge one. Millions of other ships fly with it. Unbelievable, they look like humans. Me, Urank Death. Me, Love Ankaba, Urank Death. They attack me. I wake up several hours later. I'm alive, but things are not looking good. The ship's badly damaged. So are some modules. I think the ship's computer's out of order. What did I just meet? I take a couple of minutes to calculate the origin coordinates of this huge ship. What will I find in this star system? Wow, they really wrecked us. They actually didn't take that many resources, though. So, that's the blue thing. And no, we still can't reach any further down this line unless we improve our range. So you would require gold to repair. I could repair you with Omega. Eh, uh, easy come, easy go. Let's see. Um, so if we could get a Tau Stasis, we could jump further. Is there anything in this system? Oh, a new ship. A new ship. We'll actually come back for that. Um, well, actually, it doesn't cost that much fuel to go there. Let's just see what we're dealing with here. Ooh, that looks good. Drifting around the star, I discover an abandoned ship. A meteorite has pierced a gaping hole in its hull. Its inhabitants are all sucked away. They drift around the ship. But... It's so horrible. But... Thousands of dead humans floating around the ship. This means that while I was sleeping, my people have conquered the stars. Finally, we can be reunited. Agitated, I search through the databases but everything is written in an obsolete language I barely understand. All I could learn was that they have fled from a terrible enemy, and that they were going to an isolated system, hoping to find a habitable planet. I found the system's coordinates. If these people are still alive, I could... Oh, oh, oh that's far away. Oh boy. Okay, let's uh, take another look at this. You are badly wrecked, and you require tungsten to repair. Oh. Oh, dear. Deary, deary me. Well, I have plenty of iron right now, so... Um... Okay, so you already have a shield generator. I can dismantle your space folder. Um, so I'm dismantling this stuff. Okay, wait, that needs platinum, I guess. Uh, 
I'm trying to save a little bit of space here so that I have more room for drilling. Um, to try to get that tungsten and thorium would also be great. I guess I can get rid of my own hydrogen probe. Because I'm not going to be getting any more hydrogen in this system. Yeah, let's do that. Um, let's dismantle that one as well. Actually, what does it cost to build a hydrogen probe? Yeah, okay. Yeah, we'll be able to do that. All right. Oh, I actually need iron to get a drill. There, that frees up a little more space. I feel torn. We'll keep the helium. Um, we don't actually need the space folder. So let's dismantle that. Okay. And we probably don't need the shields either, but I'm going to keep that stuff for the moment. Alright, so we are going to drill and drill and drill. Rocky planet, rocky planet. Okay. Give it our best shot. Oh, I don't have any spare iron. So if I break my drill, I can't repair it. Unless I break down other equipment, possibly. So let's just go for seven. Okay, now we have all the iron we could possibly want. And hafnium, I... Th no, thorium is the one that we really want. Let's do one other big drilling thing. And that didn't turn out much. Okay, let's take off and really hope that we find some tungsten on the next planet. Hafnium, at least. Which I guess is something. Alright, well, we're full up. That's not the resolution I was hoping for. Well, our only choice is to go back to that ship now. Let's say show cargo. I don't even really know what to do here. Um, we could come back for these humans, possibly. We don't need the cryonics. So you already have a telescope, which is not strictly necessary. Uh, let's build a space folder there. Well, actually, at this point, I should be dismantling everything on this ship. And we actually retrieved a tungsten. So let's swap those. And I don't know if there's a specific order I should repair these in, but let's just do that for now. Um... Helium's really good. Alright, we have the space folder. What else can we build? So we will need an interplanetary reactor on this ship. May as well build it there. Um, subspace reactor. Reduces the amount of fuel necessary. Okay, so this is built by the space folder, or near the space folder, I mean. What we would love is Tau Stasis, but we don't have any Thorium. What does Life Seed do? Can instantly transform a rocky planet into a garden planet suitable for life. That's very interesting. And it's actually not that expensive either. So would that immediately give me oxygen, maybe? 
These are interesting questions. Um, we will want to drill in a hydrogen probe eventually, but we don't need to build them on this right away. Uh, let's top up the iron there. I would like to get so um, the solar sails. Oh no, we forgot that technology. That's right. We would need more gold anyway. Hmm. What do we actually need platinum for? The hydrogen probe. Yeah. So I could just build a hydrogen probe and dump the other platinum. Well, let's think about this realistically here for a second. So this has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 slots. This has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 slots. So already it's superior in its capacity. Uh, and I could dismantle the telescope to get another slot. So let's assume that we will maybe come back for these humans. I don't know if they're important or not. Um, but we have to go on some drilling missions with this other ship. So uh, I think we say done for now and then take over the ship. And this can go much further. Much, 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 much further. Let's, um, 37 fuel? That seems expensive. Don't I have the thing that says you use less fuel? Reduces the amount of fuel necessary to travel through the interdimensional envelope. Yeah. Well, maybe that is less fuel. Well, let's do it. And I don't think I drilled for any metal on, um, or around this star. Or maybe I did. No, I think that's where we started the episode. That's right, it was around the um, blue giant. But I don't remember what planets that had. Well, let's just go to this red dwarf. Eject some platinum. Okay. Day 288. I thought there was nothing here. Or even worse, a black hole. The reality is different. Impossible and incredible. Something enclosed the entire star system in a giant sphere made of black matter. I see nothing except a cube-shaped construction orbiting the stellar sphere. The word glyph, Ilalan, is shining blue upon it. So I don't know why I would eject platinum, but let's give it a try. I think the glyph means platinum. I eject a ton of metal into space. The glyph then starts to glow, and the platinum boils away into nothingness. The words, judges, architects, are rendered in my mind, and the stellar sphere disappears revealing a magnificently bright solar system. What was it? A prison? Or some kind of laboratory? Alright, rocky planet, rocky planet, gas giant. So that is pretty promising. We do have to spend a lot of fuel, though, because we don't have the solar sails. So this is just another vanilla, you know, hydrogen and helium ship. Uh, do we have a drill yet? No, so we need to put that drill down. Oh boy. Yeah, we're definitely going to be juggling inventory. No, before I do that, let's... Use up all the stuff that we can. And we don't have any oxygen to use up, that's fine. What do you cost a bit? Okay, actually, that wouldn't be so bad. Getting some tungsten. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's drop this. Well, very uncommon. Hmm, maybe I don't want to drop it. Let's drop the iron. Or do I want to do that? Let's drop the gold. We will dismantle that and use the tungsten right away. So now we have tons of space. We don't need to worry about dropping stuff.
Ugh. Not a very productive drilling session, actually. Well, okay, let's take off and check the other planet. My gosh, this ship just guzzles fuel. I'm getting a little worried. Well, let's drill. Okay, half an eum. We didn't need that. I'm going to grab this. No, really, there's no need. I already have two full stacks of iron. Whew. That is rough. Alright, let's go to the gas giant. Because we're starting to run low in fuel already. We do have to build a hydrogen probe. Um, we've used up all of the helium. What would we even use hafnium for at this point? So there's nothing we can still craft that would require hafnium. But I bet that the subspace reactor would require it, yeah, for repairs. That's not crucial, though. Uh... Well, at least I've got this down to a science. We are now in critical danger of running out of fuel. I don't actually know where to go at this point. I mean, we can go back there. Oh, actually, did we visit this gas giant? I don't remember. I don't think we did. Well, this is a big risk, because that costs a lot of fuel to get to. Let's hope. Uh, slightly better than that other planet, but still, we're in bad shape. dump all the fuel in that we can. I think this might be the end of our journey. Might be. Okay, so that is all. How long have I been recording for? Oh, a little over 20 minutes, so let's call it there, actually and see if we can work our way out of this in the next episode. So good night, sleep tight, and don't let... I don't remember what my closing was. Don't let the death seed bite. There we go. Bye-bye.